July 4th, it all went down as the Warriors have become the super team of all super teams with four all-stars poised to get the chip. But who is under the most pressure to finish the job? Now, according to Vegas, Kevin Durant opens as the 7-5 favorite to win finals MVP. Steph Curry was the second choice with 8-5 to five odds. Stephen A., I want to start with you here. Whose shoulders is this final series on for Golden State? This finals is on the go is on Kevin Durant. There's no question about it. I don't want to hear about Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, anybody else. They did not play for the Oklahoma City Thunder last year. They were not up 3-1 in the Western Conference Finals. They did not choke in a game six, blow a 3-1 lead and lose game seven, end up not going to the finals and then join the team that beat them literally a month later. That was Kevin Durant. And why did you do all of this? It wasn't just because of the sneaker deal because Nike wanted you in the Bay Area because they didn't want it dominated by Steph Curry and Under Armour. It was also because you are chasing the elusive championship. Nine years in the league, one NBA Finals appearance, knocked out by LeBron James in the Miami Heat, never to return to an NBA Finals. You left Russell Westbrook. You've go you're gone. Universally recognized one of the greatest players in the game today. Clearly, one of the greatest scorers the game has ever seen, and you can't capture a championship. So you joined the Golden State Warriors, who was 73-9 and nine without you, who went to a Game 7 of an NBA Finals with an injured Steph Curry, with Draymond Green getting suspended for a game, with Andrew Bogut and Iguodala hurt as well. They still end up in a Game 7 of an NBA Finals without you, and you think you get to go to the Bay Area and lose? Oh, hell no. Absolutely not. <laughs> this is definitely on Kevin Durant. He had better get it done in these NBA Finals. You heard me. Yeah, you put your chest into that one, Stephen A. How not about bad. It? Listen, put you back still into it want, too. like, here's the fundamental problem. That's right. Here's the fundamental problem. Um, well, right, he said it with his chest. That's right, Molly. Good correction. <laughs> Here's the fundamental problem, Stephen A. You want the story of the NBA to be, to include Kevin Durant. In other words, you see this error, or you'd like to, as Magic and Bird, LeBron and Durant, that he is LeBron's counterpart and in some way in the same stratosphere as LeBron, but he's not. He's, they've proven that already. We've seen that already. LeBron is fundamentally on a different plane than everyone else, including it's Durant. So it's just not what you want it to be. To Dur Kevin Durant. It's, so it's, I'm just being honest. It's not disrespectful. That's very disrespectful it's to Kevin Durant. So, He's not even in the same stratosphere as LeBron James. That's just what? disrespectful. Why is that disrespectful? Because Kevin Durant's why, a superstar. Because Kevin Durant's a superstar. Is something else. And one of the was, greatest players was, ever. Was, Carl, was, was Clyde is, Drexler in the same stratosphere as Michael Jordan? No. Absolutely not. Michael Jordan didn't have a... Le right. Jordan didn't have a bird or a magic counterpart. And by the way, neither were bird and magic on Michael Jordan's level. Sorry, there's some guys who are better than everyone else. LeBron Can't James say is that. that in this Different NBA. Era. There is no one on his level. So you and I just fundamentally see LeBron differently, I guess, or KD differently. But I'm telling you, this is on Steph's shoulders more than anything. Now, does KD, is he gonna look worse than everybody else if they lose? Yeah, I'd say so. There's tremendous pressure. You left the team, as you mentioned, that almost beat the team that you joined. All the things I The explained. team that you joined yes. almost beat the team and that, that LeBron's on, and now you're glomming on, you know, you're joining that you team. You could just say it's everything LeBron I said. You it's still okay. can't do it. Right. right. Then, you then he looks worse. That doesn't mean it's most on his shoulders. That doesn't mean it's most, it's most on Steph's shoulders because Steph came that close to beating LeBron last year. Steph is the best player on his team. Almost got over the LeBron hump last year, and now they've simply replaced Harrison Barnes with Kevin Durant. And if he can't do it still, it's like, Steph, what do you need to overcome this dude? Yet, who seems to have taken his heart, who seems to have a psychological whammy over him, who, with Steph, who That's has ridiculous. been less than the best version of himself, not only last year when he was hurt, I agree, he was hurt last year, but also the year before he was not the best version of himself in the finals, meaning he didn't come up big compared to his own standard or even keep his own standard, which would have been big. He came up small by his standards. He was simply wow. a lesser version of Steph. Two consecutive finals, 
Look at the numbers. Watch the plays. Use the eyeball test. Two consecutive finals. And now he has the same team returning plus KD. If he still can't get it done, it's going to be on him. First of all, you should be ashamed of yourself because this notion that LeBron, like, took his heart or whatever. What, because he blocked his shot and he stared at him and talked smack to him and in game on six? Him. Or, the, or the, yep. year before, or the year before, I recall being in Cleveland arguing with fans because they were sitting there raving about Matthew Della Vadova and the job that he was doing on Steph Curry. LeBron James wasn't even guarding him. It was Della Vadova on him for crying out loud. So the, what, the fact that okay. the no but how that does LeBron, Steph play? The, hold on, hold on. The notion that LeBron snatched Steph's heart is utterly ridiculous. That makes no sense I said last year. Ever. I said well, last, last, well, well, last, last year. I told, last year I saw Kyrie Irving. I saw uh, 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 Clay Thompson. I even saw Tristan Thompson out on the wing on Steph Curry for crying out loud. There was a whole bunch of people. I'm not talking it was about a one on one guarding. I'm talking what are about you a talking larger about? psychological issue. When what, Le like, what psychological James, look, issue? Question, okay, Steph Curry last year won his second consecutive MVP. He did it on a team that won 73 games. It looked like maybe because of the way the rules are nowadays in the NBA, can Steph Curry at 6'3 be the best player in the game? Oh, my God, what if he winds up as the finals MVP, which he didn't come close to, by the way. Had, had, had the Golden State Warriors won it, Draymond would have been finals MVP. Speaking to Steph's uh, lessened, you know, his diminished effectiveness. But did Steph look like he wanted to shoot in that game four? Did he carelessly just throw the you ball just, away You at times? just finished did confessing. Did he come up make small up your, in game hold four? Hold on. I'm answering your question. Make up your mind. You just finished conceding that Steph Curry wasn't healthy. Which one is it? You just said he wasn't healthy. Yes, but that so has nothing he to do with want. You cannot be healthy and still want it. Did it look like Hold he on. wanted it to you? Did yeah, it look yeah, like he I, thought I, he I was going to win I, to you? Let me be very clear. I did not see. I saw two problems with Steph Curry. Number one, him being injured. And number two, him being a bit too loose with the basketball, particularly in game seven with stupid behind the back passes. Outside of that, all yeah. I saw was a guy. All I saw was a guy that was trying to make shots and was missing them. He wasn't scared to take them. He was shooting. He missed. No, what I do you saw, want? It happened. No, I saw. I saw Steph. I saw Steph hesitant to shoot at times. I saw that's one of the reasons he was missing. He wasn't shooting with confidence, Stephen A. And by the way, if you're a jump shooter, oh and Lord. well, sometimes you just they don't fall and you hurt. lose. Don't don't have that happen in Game Seven. But that wait, doesn't wait, wait, mean wait, wait, that you wait, can't wait, hit shots just because you're hurt. If your leg is, if your leg, so listen, what? as somebody, as somebody with a chronic knee issue, and you should appreciate this with your back issues, by the way, as somebody with a chronic knee well, issue, anyway. sometimes you lean, sometimes you lean on one way or another. You overcompensate when you're not okay. healthy. Explain things are going before. to be off. He was just missing shots. That's not choking. That's not the being year before scared. Also? You're the not. Year? You're, you're missing. And what about the year before? By, by the way, I just what want about to say, the year before? I, 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 again, uh, you, and I, you and I say this is from time to time when we're talking about a player, it looks like we're, we're like dissing him or we're kind of anti whoever. I'm pro Steph. I love Steph. I don't take pleasure in saying this, but it is what it is. You you're, 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 you're write your own history. How was he in the finals before last year? I mean, was he really listen, good in those finals? No, he was or, not. He only, as or as was he a lesser concerned. version he only of really himself? Two. He only had really two really good games. Outside of that, he wasn't himself. Yeah. All I'm trying, all I'm saying right. is, is that it to me it That's wasn't two a finals product in a row. of How some. Many you hold need to on. See? Hear my point. It wasn't some product of some psychological disadvantage on the part of LeBron James no. over him. You either making a shot or you missing okay, it. That's all this. I'm saying. Let me ask you this. When you're in the conversation for best player ever, you're trying to take that mantle from the reigning best player or best player in the game. You're trying to take that away from someone else who you happen to be facing in the finals, even if you don't play the same position. And in 13 finals games spanning two seasons, some of them you're hurt, some of them you're not hurt. You have a total of two really good games. Do you mean to tell me that that is indicative of someone who's rising to the occasion or who is who is becoming a lesser again, version of themselves you know, when you, you need you, it you most? Know, you're so Steph damn can slick. You're this. So, you're so damn slick. No Nobody he can rewrite that. his script, no, but he's got to do it no, now. Nobody said that. All I'm saying is, is that you either played well or you didn't. But we know the difference between somebody that's choking and somebody that's just not playing well. He didn't play well. But it was okay. a psychological let me help disadvantage. Define, let, me help, let, let me help clear this up for you. If you don't play well consistently in the big, some of the biggest games in history and consistently you're a lesser version of yourself, that is a choke. 
Now, I'm not saying that Steph can't play big in these finals. I expect him choking, to. You guys have different definitions of choking, though. But, it's not right, true. I have the right one. I expect no, you Steph don't. to play you better in these finals. You just talk more, but you don't I have the right one. I you don't I have the right more one. At all. Oh, God. <laughs> at all. I, I expect at all. him to play better in these finals, but he okay. has to in order to erase the image of a choker that he now has on him, Stephen A. Okay. All right. no <laughs> we we got to wrap it up. Too much to get into there. Coming up, guys, Scotty Pippen says LeBron James isn't quite comparable to Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan. So who is the best comparison? We will tell you that. And we still haven't heard from Tom Brady himself about those concussion